Now, isn't that a beautiful fish? Hello and welcome to pnclounge.com. Today we are discussing the concept fish bone diagram and this is an important concept. One of the seven basic quality tools. Now, if you are into reading articles, first link in the description will take you to the related article on fish bone diagram. So do check that out. And as always, second link in the description will take you to the entire playlist of quality management knowledge area videos that we have done on this channel. So these two links very, very important. Let's get started with fishbone diagram. Now, the first thing that you should know about fishbone diagram is the list of its alternative names. So you should know what are the alternative names that this concept, the fishbone diagram concept is known as. And why is that important? Because in the exam, in your PMP exam, if you get a question and the correct answer to that question is fishbone diagram, but you don't see fishbone diagram as an option, what would you do? Well, instead, you will see one of these in the question, and that is either fishbone diagram, Ishikawa diagram, herringbone diagram, or cause and effect diagram. All four are basically the same concept. It's the alternative names for the same concept. Fishbone diagram because the diagram itself looks like a fish and Ishikawa diagram because the person who developed this concept of fishbone diagram was called was named Ishikawa. So this concept is also known as Ishikawa diagram. It is also known as herringbone diagram and cause and effect diagram. So all four are basically the alternative names of the same concept fishbone diagram. So keep a note of that. So what is fishbone diagram? So specifically with regards to quality in project management field, this diagram tries to figure out what caused a defect or a problem or an error. So if there is a problem or an error, what caused it? What is the root cause of any defect problem or an error? That is exactly what fishbone diagram aims at achieving. Now to come up with a fishbone diagram, what you need to do is number one list out all the categories of defects that you have identified so if you have let's say 20 defects that you have identified list them out in categories are there five categories under which those 20 defects can fall in so list them out and the second step is to list out all the possible causes of the defects for each category so each category let's say you found 20 defects belonging to five categories, what are the causes of those categories of defects, right? So it is possible that one category, all five defects were caused by just one thing, just one issue caused five defects, caused defects under one category. It is also possible that there were multiple issues that caused defects in one of the, in one of the categories, right? Because each category had several defects. So whatever the case be, you need to list out all the possible causes of the defects for each category. Once you do that, you will be able to see all the possible causes of the defects in one place. So you have all the causes with you, you have all the defects with you, and that is how you come up with a fishbone diagram. We'll take an example as well so that you understand this better. Now, by fixing the causes, it will help you prevent the defects in the future. So you have all the causes in the one place. What your next step is fix these root causes, fix these causes so that in the future you don't get these defects again. Before we move further, a quick reminder, if you're looking to clear your PMP exam, we have a 50 day study plan. Head over to this link, pmclounge.com slash PMP study plan and grab your free copy of the plan. Now let's take a look at an example. So a failure in a system testing could be due to, so if you're doing system testing, a failure in system testing, which is basically a failure of system testing, we are looking at the causes which is uh, resulting in defect. So the cause could be inexperienced developer, which could lead to multiple defects, right? This is one of the cause. Improper coding, test script errors, the test 
script that you are running also has errors so that could also lead to multiple defects being found in the code incorrect environment the environment that you are using maybe you need a different kind of environment but you are using a different kind of environment that may also lead to several uh, you know defects so what you are doing basically is you are noting all these defects down and you are clubbing them in a category right the category is inexperienced developer improper coding test script scarer and incorrect environment so these are all the categories of defects that may be caused now this is an example diagram and let me admit you don't have to understand this thoroughly to clear the pmp exam you won't get questions in the pmp exam that could deal with such detail but it is good to know so you have categories like measurements materials personnel environment methods machines these are all categories that can cause certain defects what are the defects let's say you have defects from suppliers so the category that this, these kind of defects come under is called materials so that is how you basically draw a diagram and that is how you make sure that defect xxx is fixed basically you can select which ones are applicable for this defect and then accordingly act so that these defects are resolved so that's all that we had in this video hope you liked it hope you learned the basics of fishbone diagram because the basics is all that you need to know for your pmp exam do hit the like button if you enjoyed the video subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to stay notified and as always don't forget to check out the website pmclounge.com your number one free pmp resource thank you